go over there. Bef before we show that, I yeah. want to show Arian first. So let's let's get a panel of the, the studio. It's crowded and a little messy and dirty. Oh yeah, give a panoramic yeah. of so this. This is <laughs> this is you guys' um, let's see. A lot of the Alexander the Great statues they're they're matched by so when you when they arrive you have to look for two pieces of they arrived with A and B boxes. Uh, all the EXs are here. Uh, we're sending them out. Uh, Spencer's sending out as, as as many as we can per day. Uh, catching up on that stuff. So the whole studio is right now really still full. Uh, we've only shipped. Uh, yeah. Um, I want first to show my own my own area. It's right here, and I want you to show here with me. Okay. So this here. It's my own statue, my, my own area, okay? The sample that we have shown you guys, and this is what we promised that we would deliver. This is the doll. <laughs> the doll will be up for sale soon. We just didn't have time yet, but we have the doll here. But um, this is the statue that I promised that you guys would get, this one. So I'm going to move this one here, and I'm going to place this one right beside the ones we got back. Okay, so let's get this one here on this desk here. Okay, so let me move this air clip out of the way a little bit. Okay, uh, so this is my, my statue. Now we have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One more here that we, uh, uh, we I haven't opened yet. So we have 13. We have 13 areas that were returned with issues in the paint job and also with some uh, damage on the sash. The sash, what happened was this. This little piece of the sash here has no support. So it's not a leg, it's kind of floating. And because it's floating, the styrofoam on the packing was putting pressure on this one and it was breaking. So it was like a fatal flaw. Every single one that you, you know, that touches there, it will break. So most, you know, of the statues, of course, didn't break, but it was something that happened in all those 15. I, I'm honest, being honest, I think some of the buyers that also got the bro broken sash, they glued themselves and they're okay with that. So it's not like I'm just saying that only 14 broke, no, but only 14 were returned. So if we, if we consider that we ship 300 statues and we only have 14 back, it's not that bad. Okay, so when I, let me even take this, well, I'll keep the, the, the sword there. If I move this one here and put among the other ones, okay, and we consider that these were the statues that were returned. These, this is mine. This is the sample I promised I would get to you guys. And this is what you, you guys got. Okay. This is this. These are the ones that were returned, and you can even show a little bit up close here. You know, so trying to, to, to show them, and there is absolutely no difference between mine and yours. No difference. The only difference, to be honest, is here. Mine, because mine is the sample. The 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 sword is is made of resin it's plastic you know it's plastic the sword that you guys are getting is metal we cast the swords in metal so this one here has the sword out it's metal it doesn't bend it's thick it's strong and it's made of metal now mine is plastic because that's my sample the ones that that I made and and this one is metal, the one that the factory made. The factory made a sword made of metal, mine is plastic. So besides the fact that my sword is, your sword is better than mine because my sword is, is you know, can break and bend, this one cannot. Look, look at the sound, it's metal. So bes besides the fact that the swords are different, tell me if you can tell 
which one is mine and which one is not. It's right there, guys. The same paint job on the pictures of the website. The same quality, the same is in every one of them. But unfortunately, of course, what happened was here. Keep it a close up here. You see this problem here? You see this problem here when I'm pointing with my finger? This rubbed off on the styrofoam in the packing and damaged the paint job. The paint job is exactly like that one. It was well painted just like that one. But unfortunately, it damaged. So in here, a little bit here too. And um, you can see it because it's glossy. On this one, he exactly you, yeah, he, he, it's he, glossy. It gets glossy, like it you know? got rubbed. So the, the basically with with most all the guys that were complaining with us and say, hey, you know, I got a bad job, bad job, bad job. It's not a bad job. It's a damage because of the foam. Let me show you this air this The same thing. Look at the leg. Can you see if you can get a close up on the leg? You see this damage here. It happened during the shipment and because of the styrofoam rubbed against the paint job. So, my, but if you compare the statue and the paint application, the colors and everything with the one I did, with the one I, I have on my shelf, it's exactly the same, okay? Now, um, I'm not denying that we have this one here. Look, this one here is actual a defect, okay? Look at how the arm was attached to the body here and it has a gap you know I had never seen this one or in any other statue to be honest you know of our own set so the factory didn't glue this arm correctly and this piece here has no way of saving it. that's just it's scrap you have to go and throw it away I'm going to replace the guy the customer that has had received this one for a brand new statue but these is a defect that I have to say okay that's a problem that I will call the factory and say hey you have to replace me on that one because that one was you know was uh, it, I couldn't sell so this one will be trashed out but when the customer saw that he got upset and but he also got upset on the paint job and he thought that was bad application once again it's not bad application is the is the the styrofoam that rubbed against this, this so I want to show you guys this because it gives you a sense of understanding of what happened. It's it's the quality is exactly what we promised, and and more. It looks exactly. There's no difference in the shading. There's no difference in the golden color. The hair, the way I did it, is like the way they did it. So the same gold, the same color for the base, everything here matches. Okay, now, um, this is another thing I wanted to show. Is Aries. Let me get this out of the way here. Really quick. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get those Aries fixed this week. You know, everything that can be fixed, with, with what cannot be fixed will be replaced. If there's anything that it's broken, it uh, will be uh, replaced for a new one. And, uh, and what can be fixed will be fixed, of course. Now, let me show you Aries. Now, this is not my sample. This is not my statue, the one I painted. No, this is a statue that was in one of the boxes, just like all the statues that we, we shipped. I just picked one box, didn't even care for the number, and I opened it to check the quality of the statue, and I decided to assemble this one here at the table to show the same statue I pulled out of a box. So, you see, this statue, for my inspection, is flawless there are no damages there are no breakages there are nothing here that is different than the statue that I did and there is more the factory 
because of the experience they had for the first Ares, that was the red one, we had some damages, you know, on that statue. Packing was a flaw, flaw had a flaw too, and we had some breakages on that one. The factor did it everything different this time. So when you see you everything here has magnet. This one comes off with magnet. The arm is already attached to the shield, permanently attached to the shield. So the arm does not uh, 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 need any magnet or anything. It's completely attached and the arm comes off and then when you ship the statue, you ship without the arm so it, it has a less uh, possibility of breaking. It's, 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 the, the possibility of breaking is much lesser now because it, it ships without the arm. So we have this that also comes off. It has a strong magnet here and then when you pull here the arm comes off. The spear comes off and then you can just assemble everything and that's how the statue comes in the packet. You, the ponytail was one of the things that were that was breaking the most on the red version. So now the ponytail is separate, has a magnet here, and you just attach the, mag the, the ponytail with the magnet so it doesn't break anymore. So the, 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 the ponytail comes off. Another thing, another problem we had last, last year was the swords. The swords were breaking. I, I, had, I received several swords back for fixing and but this because they were like this attached together now they come separate they come in two pieces with a magnet so once you open the box they are in one piece because it's much easier to protect something like this than like this and then you just put them together and the magnet holds so even even the 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 the, the, the vulture here now the head comes off with the magnet so you know, so we, we, we fixed all the problems we had last year with Ares that was actually last year was the one that got broken the most was Ares. The factory fixed it, you know, so this year it's totally different. You know, it comes apart and, and, and we had zero breakage on this one, zero. We, I haven't received a single uh, uh, report of damage. With, no, with the exception of one guy that had this nose, uh, the piece of the nose here broken. I saw that, but that was the only one that I've seen. No more breakage on the areas. So uh, I want to just make sure that you guys can see that we have been making improvements. Every time we learn about the problem, we, we, we try to fix, we try to get it you know, better. Uh, 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 on the next time. Now let me show you some of the samples that we already got from the factory. The factory is a food steam producing producing the the, 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 the Frazetta line and it's going to be shipping as uh, uh, soon and uh, I was just want to show you guys here a few of them and we have a few more over there. So there in the back over there you can see the the Atlantis it's already a factory piece. It's not my piece. It's the factory that sent that to me. So it means that the statue was there is mold made already. It's already in production. So that's the Atlantis over there. Here is the. This is the Death Dealer on the horse and the Death Dealer three are both factory samples. Those are the statues that the factory sent to me. Um, is you can notice that the rain, you know, the, the rains on the horse and a few other things like the sword, I didn't put it in yet. Um, but, um, but we can definitely check the quality. The paint job looks exactly like uh, our sample, you know. And it's here, the same thing with the Death Dealer tree. Uh, we corrected the eyes. If people were saying, oh, you guys will correct the eyes, it was eyes are too close together. And then we correct it. Now the eyes are spread out apart the correct way, so uh, we won't have that that problem on the eyes anymore. And the statue arrived, and it looks exactly like the one I did. The paint job on the skin color, the paint job on the costume, paint job on the metal of the the, the, the statue. It's done exactly like the sample I did. So I just want to make sure to show you guys because. That shows that this is in production. Although it's late, it's coming. Okay. Now let's see the the other two. 
it's the Huntress and the Virgin of Mahar. And the Barbarian. And the Barbarian, yes. So, see if you can catch from this angle here. Yeah. So, the Huntress and the Virgin of Mahar. We, uh, those are samples too. Those are the statues that the, the you, exactly the same statue you're going to be receiving at your house, uh, made by the factory. Um, as you see, the Huntress, now she looks so much more beautiful than when we showed at the Comic Con. We, we, we fixed the face, we fixed the anatomy. There were some errors with the anatomy that we corrected before, uh, before we produced the statue. And uh, it comes in, um, separate, one package just for the Huntress, one package for the Tigers and the base. Because the Huntress has those pieces that, you know, are, are fragile. So we, are, we have a, a, a big, very well designed package to protect the Huntress. So as you guys can see, my sample arrived from China by mail, not by container, by mail, by, by FedEx. And it arrived here in perfect condition. So I'm pretty sure that we won't have problems on the packaging on this one. And then the, 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 the version of my heart here, the only thing, the only thing about the version of my heart that I'm going to request the factory to change is the color of the nipples that are, that's too dark. And I'm going to uh, request them to lighten up, the, to give it a, a lighter brown for the nipples. Because the, the way they, they did it, it's it, it's it's not looking like the one I, I I did. So that's the only thing. Everything else here looks absolutely stunning and perfect. Even the eyes, the mouth, and the the the, the, the hair. So everything is uh, exactly like I, I expected. And here we have the barbarian here. This is already um, the barbarian sample that I received from the factory. And um, that's exactly what you can expect to receive. The the uh, the girl, the, he of course he is he will be holding the chain uh, the, in his hands, uh, and the girl, the barbarian, and um, the only thing that came missing was there is an axe here that the factory didn't include in the package, so I have to tell them to send me the axe separate later. But um, when I look at the paint job they did, it's exactly like what I did. I did my paint job by hand with oil. It took me five days to paint this statue. Five days painting one prototype. And they reproduced exactly like I, 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 I did. So the barbarian and then here, let me give you a quick look at the new statues. If you can uh, just take a little yeah, back there. Um, those are the two new statues that, um, that we have. Shireen, as I was telling you earlier, is um, Arian's sister, younger sister. And Shireen, um, she is sitting on the gorilla's hand because as part of the story, you guys will see, she has a, a pet gorilla in the story. So this is the, the statue of Shireen. And then here is the statue of the Medusa. Uh, now, the interesting thing about the Medusa is that she has three different faces. She has the original face, that is the same face that we use for the statue we released at the Comic Con. And then you can just pull the face off. It has a magnet that holds the face in place. And you can pull the face off and you can choose to display with two other different versions. You have one angry face that if you want her to look... Uh, like like she's evil Medusa or something. She will have an angry face. And you have a neutral face that has no expression, that is no smile or anger. You just put it there and it stays with the magnet. This one doesn't have magnet yet. That's why I have to hold it. But once you put it there with the magnet, it will hold this, the face in place. And so you can have three options. Angry, smiley, or neutral face. Now, the thing is, it's only for the E-axis. Only the E-axis version will have the three faces. The, the, the regular edition will have probably 
the smiling face to match the original one we produced. So if you want to purchase this spread, this the product and you purchase it through the Air Industries website, you will have two extra faces on your statue to choose from. And um, also the the bowl is the, as you guys can see the bowl and the quiver is part of the EX for the the one we showed at Comic Con with the tail. So when you get the statue from Comic Con with the tail, you will also receive the quiver and you will also receive the bow as an extra part that you can choose to display with or without. And the cool thing about the quiver is that we have a belt for her, for, for the quiver, that actually buckles up here. So it's, it's pretty simple. It's the same, um, the buckle is like um, the same system. a metal buckle here is just like a helmet for a motorcycle helmet but buckle you know if you if you have a motorcycle helmet you know exactly how to do it you just put it over here and then go under two and go above one and and then you pull it and it holds in place so you have a leather it's made of leather with a metal buckle that you can um, choose to display the Medusa with or without the quiver. So those two statues I'm painting this week, I hope. <laughs> I said that last week, right? <laughs> yeah, I hope I can paint it this week. Uh, but um, yeah, where's the, oh, of course she has the covers for her breasts. They are magnetic and then uh, you can choose to display it with or without, just like the other one. And uh, I hope to get it painted this week. And as soon as we, uh, we have it painted, it will be up for pre-orders. And um, this, this, this should be here. This I was just comparing the first Medusa that we produced with legs a long time ago. And the first Medusa and now the new Medusa. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Um, I think that's it. Um, we, 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 are, we are working hard here, and um, as I said, those things will be ready soon. If you have any statues on order with us from 2014 that you haven't received yet, it's probably here and it's going to be shipping this week, probably. We, we, we want to see if we can finish shipping everything out by, uh, by next week. And, um, and then we're done with 2014. We will take care of the breakages and the damages, and then we can expect the new batch for 2015, 2016, coming out now. Um, by the way, do you have the, the Tarzan there? Yeah. Okay, let's do another thing. Let's show... Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Keep the camera on me here a little, little more. Keep the camera here on me. Okay, this is the coolest part about the new 2016 line. Oh, uh, God. Yeah, I got careful. It. Yeah, I'll be careful. <laughs> Let me just get the Medusa off the base because I want to show the base. Okay. Uh, let me really quick get this off. Get the belt off. Get the, the hair, the face off. The hair comes off. Okay, so this is the cool thing about every single statue on our 2016 line have this. The bottom is not blank anymore. The bottom will not just have the numbers that the factory placed on them, and the bottom won't have a piece of paper glued. The bottom is in 3D now. As you guys can see, the logo the image of the statue, the name of the statue, sculpted by Aaron, painted by me, edition number, and here on the bottom, space for me to sign or Aaron to sign, 
as you know if we have the opportunity or request or you know other you guys request so every single statue that we produce from now on has a 3d image on the bottom of the base and of course we have the we have to put the, the pegs right here right there where oh here yeah so yeah we will you know put the the, the little rubber pegs here uh, you know four little rubber pegs once it's done and um, and you can expect to have this in every single statue that we produce from now on including, including uh, Shireen let me show you Shireen her base also has the same the same thing look at that See the bottom there? Sharing, logo, name, sculpted by, edition size, signature. So yeah, no more blank bases with numbers on the bottom. Now everything is official. And, uh, and let's see the, the, the work that we are doing on Tarzan. Tarzan versus the gorilla <coughs> is the sculpture that um, we had originally sculpted by um, Alex Pereira and now it's going over uh, Aaron is going over the statue making a few adjustments fixing a few errors that we we, 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 we identify and it will be printing probably by next week yeah that's our, our, our goal and um, we have this beautiful one-fourth scale um, um, diorama with Tarzan fighting this huge uh, black gorilla. We have reduced the size of the gorilla from the original file we had. The gorilla was abnormally big. Now we, we have made him into a big gigantic gorilla, but it's, it's still proportional to the Tarzan figure. So it, it, we had to make a few adjustments on the original sculpture from Alex. But uh, it's coming along nice, and um, that's the next one we'll, we'll be printing. So a week from now, we start printing this one, and when, why we print, because it's going to take a long time to get this printed, because it's going to be huge. The gorilla will be like, oh, this big, like this, you know, the gorilla. And, um, and once, once we're printing, Aaron will be working on some more projects for 2015 Comic Con. That's it. I'm starving. Yeah. Yeah, now we, we, we have to, to close and go home because we all want to go home now. <laughs> it's over for today. Good? Good.